overview of the risk assessment template and all of the sheets that are part of it. For example, you see down here reference tabs, a little bit further on information about the country and geographical data, risk analysis, and so forth. I'll go through each of these categorizations individually. First, the reference tabs. The reference tabs provide helpful reference information but do not need to be filled out. The Indicators and Thresholds tab lists each of the risk indicators and their associated risk thresholds. If applicable, the EUDR location is also noted. The Recommended Sources tab provides a table with suggested resources for finding information that's relevant to filling out the risk assessment. This is organized by keyword and by geographical area. Next, we have the Country Information Background tabs. These include the Country Overview and the Supply Chain tabs. These are the places where background information is provided. There are sections for specifying the scope in terms of the geographical scale, source type, and also the scope of the risk assessment itself, as well as contextual information pertaining to the region, country, industry, etc. The entries in this sheet should be short, descriptive text that explain the picture of risk within the country pertaining to the commodities being evaluated. Next, we have the Country Information, Geographic Data, and Forest Types tabs. This encompasses the Geopolitical Scale tab and the Source Type tab. Both of these sheets provide space to record information customized to the local or country context. The Source Types tab provides space for recording relevant characteristics for each source type present. Similarly, the Geopolitical Scale tab provides spaces for recording characteristics for each of the provinces, regions, states, or whatever other geopolitical designations are present in the country and which are relevant for assessing risk. We also have three sheets references, experts, and legislation, where you can supply the sources that inform the risk analysis and risk assessment that you're doing. So the risk analysis sources are the places to enter the background evidence which supports the assessment of risk for each indicator. For example, this could include relevant publications, reports, academic articles, etc as well as experts who were consulted and relevant legislation. All of the supporting information of these items are collected on these sheets. Finally, the assessment worksheets. The assessment of indicators and risk mitigation sheets are where each indicator is assessed according to geographical scale, source type, and risk threshold. Spaces for additional commentary, justification, and associated references, experts, or legislation are also provided, as well as space to mark any documents that are related to risk mitigation measures. This is the key area where risk thresholds will be identified and explanations of how non-negligible risks will be mitigated. Finally, the RM document sheet is for risk mitigation documents, and this is where all of the documents are listed which are relevant for the purposes of mitigating risks. All of the risks identified in the risk mitigation tab will be accompanied by documents which will be listed here along with their accompanying details.